This Canadian AI startup has designed the world's first humanoid general-purpose robot that actually works. In a world where technology constantly evolves, another remarkable innovation has just emerged. A Vancouver-based artificial intelligence and robotics company, Sanctuary AI, unveiled a new advanced, general-purpose robot called Phoenix. The company claimed that it has developed the world's first humanoid general-purpose robot powered by carbon, a unique AI control system. The SOTA AI system offers human-like intelligence and enables robots to do a wide range of tasks to help address the labor challenges affecting many organizations. In March this year, the company announced its first commercial deployment, a significant milestone in the company's progress toward full commercialization. In a little less than two months the company has now announced the sixth generation of technology. Founded in 2018, Sanctuary AI is on a mission to create the world's first human-like intelligence and general-purpose robots that will help humans work safely, efficiently, and sustainably. The members of Sanctuary AI are in a bid to fulfill the ambitious mission of creating human-like intelligence and general-purpose robots. In March last year, the company raised Series AI funding. In November 2022, the company received a 30 million Canadian dollar strategic innovation fund contribution from the Government of Canada, bringing its total funding to over 100 million Canadian dollars. Talking about Phoenix key features, it stands at 5 feet 7 inches and weighs 155 pounds and it can lift objects weighing up to 55 pounds. With its human-like hands, which possess 20 degrees of freedom and haptic sensors, Phoenix can perform tasks requiring dexterity and precision, such as package labeling or fruit picking. Sanctuary claims that Phoenix possesses human-like intelligence due to its proprietary AI control system called Carbon. This system serves as the brain of the robot and can be trained to complete new tasks through computer simulations. Alternatively, Phoenix can learn through human demonstration, where a person guides the robot using a VR headset and a specialized rig to accomplish a new task. The VR setup used for demonstration purposes can also enable remote control, allowing individuals to work from home, reducing physical labor-related injuries, and expanding job opportunities for people with disabilities. Sanctuary conducted a successful pilot test at a Mark's retail store, where a human remotely guided their fifth-generation general-purpose robot through 110 tasks over a week, covering approximately 40% of the store's required job functions. How is Sanctuary AI different? While the majority of the companies, including the likes of Tesla are still in the prototype and experimentation stage, Sanctuary AI claimed that its technology is already capable of completing hundreds of tasks identified by customers from more than a dozen different industries. The company designed Phoenix to be the most sensor-rich and physically capable humanoid robot ever built and to enable Carbon's rapidly growing intelligence to perform the broadest set of work tasks possible. Meanwhile, here is a glimpse of Tesla's humanoid robot, exploring the real world. Multiple fully Tesla-made bots now walking around and learning about the real world. Lin Shi Fan who is an AI scientist at NVIDIA said that I think Tesla is in a great position to build the largest humanoid robot data flywheel ever. Very optimistic to see the latest progress on Tesla. He said Optimus can reuse the powerful vision system built for FSD. The decision to use a camera instead of LiDAR makes the models instantly transferable, he added, saying that many humanoid tasks likely need less precise and rigorous visual processing than self-driving. Further, he said that Tesla has deep experience in mass-producing hardware. The first company to deploy humanoid in mass will be able to spin the data flywheel in the wild and compound the model capability faster than competitors. He added that on the other hand, Sanctuary AI claimed its literal take on general purpose and emphasis on creating a technology that can conduct physical work just like a person sets them apart in the industry. He said that to be general purpose, a robot needs to be able to do nearly any work task, the way humans typically do, in the environment where the work is. While it is easy to get fixated on the physical aspects of a robot, our view is that a robot is just a tool for the real star of the show, which in our case is our proprietary AI control system, the robot's carbon-based mind. In March this year, AI robotics startup figure also claimed to have released the world's first commercially available general-purpose humanoid robot figure 01, 
the prototype of which bears a strikingly close resemblance to Tesla's robot Optimus. The company says that Figure 01 will have the power to acquire new knowledge and skills over time, which enables it to take on more complex tasks and operate in a wider range of environments. It can interact with its environment, which means that it is equipped with sensors and other devices that allow it to perceive and respond to its surroundings. This enables it to perform tasks such as navigating through a warehouse or picking up objects in a manufacturing plant. Sanctuary AIS ultimate objective is to have a robot that can autonomously perform tasks without constant human supervision. The extent of Phoenix's autonomy and the time required to train it for new tasks remain uncertain. Sanctuary plans to deploy the general-purpose robot in other locations near its headquarters, providing labor as a service by the hour. The hourly pricing varies based on the complexity of the required tasks. As Sanctuary continues to develop and deploy Phoenix, more insights will emerge regarding its capabilities and potential applications, bringing us closer to a future where versatile robots enhance productivity across various industries. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay curious and keep exploring the world of technology.